No, the leakage current when this is actually the dielectric is allowed to break down. Also, I'm guessing contributes to a big, larger ionic wind due to the um, stripping of electrons from the air and the ionization. The actual CMR is visible, an ultra blue and violet glow from the actual devices themselves when they operate. So it's not nice to look at at night time. No. <laughs> the other thing is, as you can see there, the electrodes themselves are no longer a port, probably due to the travel in the car rocking around a <laughs> bit. But um, that, if you hear that rattling, as the electrodes themselves being stuck actually towards the negative electrodes and flap, flapping around. Uh, again, not the most desirable effect. My guess is that's probably similar to what's happening in the other one over there, and it's going to be maximum force and being the same. But as we said, they just start to smell the ozone and actually fly by the ozone. Yeah. As we said, that actually does fly off, they still actually provide the force there. Yeah, I'm not sure what the whole thing is, I'm not pushing that thing up. I think that's pretty much proof in itself that it does fly. So if you turn up. It's actually controllable again by the voltage, you can turn it down and you watch it shut it down and shut it down. Did you say it emits a blue light? At night. If you actually hit the lights, you can turn it on. Turn the lights? I'm going to look. look. <laughs> <laughs> that was off in there or off? Yeah. Yep. Did you do it? Did you do it? Did you do it? Okay. Oh, yeah, let's go again. Yeah. Yep. Very thin, very thin line. The thin line for ionization occurs in the upper edges of the needle, tucked from the lower electrode in that positive electrode there. Yeah, I've got a very characteristic and I'll be about 30 years to work. Yeah, it's very thin. Yeah, it's very thin. Now, technical story, it's going to get more stable flight characteristics on them as well. I'm um, only attached to more than 8 cm long pieces of string so that just keep it tied down so it doesn't fly around. I'm not sure if I should do it in the time frame that I had in the project. Yeah. No, I'm only too quick. I just thought. Oh, no, I'm happy to ask. I was just saying, how can you give you, you seem to express that you were concerned about gravity not knowing what it is? Yeah, uh, basically it came from the, the more I research into it, the um, more different alternate explanations. But you there was a guy called Einstein who was Yep, yeah, we've come across that big done a lot and no, 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 uh, the latest version of his work in um, the M theory and shift string theory. Didn't he make a version of each uh, straight out of the consequence of relativity? Yeah, well, the latest adoption and adjustment of it from the uh, Stephen Hawking there. Well, I don't think, yes, all I can say is the explanation of this is, is time shells around um, masses due to the effect of yeah, mass of time, time from, yeah. and it's the resultant uh, difference in time shells causes yeah. everything to accelerate and all this to happen. There's no such thing as you know, Newton created the word gravity to explain that, but that's yeah, not it explains, yeah, exactly. the actual effect is caused by time shells. So most people accept that. I, I did a lot of studying for that first thing. I did very, very research, as you can see. And uh, we'll run it just before it's starting to take off, just so you don't have to go in the direction. It's around about 30 kilowatts there. Um, now, you can give it a standard flame test there, where it's basically, you can see it's rather static. Now, as you start to bring it, you put it here towards the device, you can actually see that the flame's being drawn in quite effective. I don't know if you can see it actually from the ground in the direction. You see how special we draw it in there? Quite effective, then when you bring it closer again, you can actually see that it's completely through. And you can see it's actually completely drawn around and blown away by the actual device itself. And you can bring it into these places. Hmm. What causes that? Just, it basically causes the air to. I'll provide more particles, more conducting parts, the dielectric breakdown. So, yeah, we'll see if that's 
So that's ionic wind, is it? No, that, 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 that was, I'm using I'm, I'm that at the moment to the theory of the differential Coulomb force, because right. that's providing non-charged particles, it's just due to the um, polarization of the particles in the electric field. They are basically having a relative force produced on them by the asymmetry in the electric field, and that's the flowing of the actual particles themselves. Mm.